I feel super honored to be honored by Essence, a magazine that, first of all, I have always wanted to be on the cover of. So when I finally got a cover, I was like, oh, snap. Like, that was the biggest thing. And just to see so many powerful women in that magazine and then just to be around so many powerful women here because, you know, I know – I was being honored, but I, I looked at all the women that have inspired me. It was so many that have inspired me here. And so it was amazing to, you know, see that, to feel that. I, of course, y'all saw me crying. Lord knows I was still trying to be cute. I know that lash is this left lash, feeling real low. Got to get some glue on it. But, yes, I, I, it was an, a very emotional moment for me. Uh, it's important for me to share those type of messages that are motivational with my fans because I've been through times where I have felt like I wanted to give up. I've been discouraged, um, you know, went through depression, all of those things. And I think it's important because people may feel like that doesn't happen to artists. And so to, to know that it happens to artists and we still overcome those obstacles, it gives them a push and a motivation. So I love doing that because I want to be able to motivate though that generation behind me because I had people to motivate me. I had the Mary J. Blige's to tell me stories, Puffy, all of those ones before me. And I want to be able to do the same thing. I don't just want it to be about um, my music. I want to be, how, how did I help? people mentally should i stay original 
Should I change up? Oh, it's not working. Everybody chasing the chart, so I got to do this. And no, you be yourself and, and be okay with that. You know, so I, I try to give messages as much as I can. So, but I've been doing this over 25 years. And to still have, you know, people come out and and being honored, like, I can't say it's, it's one particular moment, but of course I'm going to say Janet. <laughs> but that's just the obvious thing. I am blessed to just have, you know, people to come out. You all to have, you know, even after all of these years to, uh, you know, bless me with an award. Um, I feel blessed. Like, there's it's no one particular thing. I love the performances, uh, the music, the people, everything. Oh my goodness, Missy Elliott has inspired me since I've been a little girl. Um, her as a producer, as an artist, I mean, she's a visionary, a vanguard. And actually, a lot of people don't know this, but one of my first big showcases that I had uh, in New York, Missy Elliott was there in attendance um, and was right there to support me. And I will never forget that. I'll never forget her words of encouragement to me when I first started my career. And I just want to come back and just let her know that I love her and I'm proud of her and I celebrate her always. She's a whole genre. Missy Elliott is her own genre, and I love the entire Missy genre. Thank you so much. Oh, man, Missy Elliott is legendary, so it only felt right to come out and do her whole swag today. You know, she's left us so many gems in music, and uh, I'm really excited to celebrate her tonight. Being, I'm a chocolate girl and thick just like her. You know, so when I was growing up and to see somebody like that in music was a huge deal. To see yourself reflected is important. So for me, I will always praise Missy for that. Let me search and find out how hard I got to work. I don't know. Nobody knows that. She's getting her just due that she should have been got. She started out with, you know, the, the whole rap there slash singer slash writer, producer. And she just did did so much and stepped always stepped out of the box and was was her own person. I mean, Missy never tried to conform. You know, she always had her own look. She was the brown skin girl. She went, you know, her weight went up, her weight went down, her hair was short, her hair was not, she wore baggy clothes, she wore like, you know, she just did her sneaker thing while everybody else was running around in they, they heels and these stilettos. I just felt like she definitely did what she wanted to do, not what everybody else was doing or what she probably felt she had to do, especially as a woman in hip hop. Missy, first of all, um, is a survivor, and I've always used her as an example of what the trajectory to healing could be. And so, and, I, and she's amazing as a performer and as an artist. But also, I think people have a misconception that this work that we're doing doesn't have joy involved in it. And the way that we work on healing is by having joyous occasions. We have to celebrate. We have to do other things that take us away from the trauma that we've experienced. Missy's an icon, and she's always been that way, right? She made it okay for us to dress the way we wanted to. She made it okay for us to be different. She made it okay for black women to show up in ways other than what the industry had said that we should show up. And so she's always been a trailblazer in that way, and it's just it just feels like a perfect marriage of the two things. For a number of reasons. I'm absolutely in love with Missy Elliott. Um, out of all my clients I've worked with over the years, she's probably the most... Um, that I feel the most closest to in terms of um, this natural connection and and she has such a, a, an amazing spirit and she's such an adventurer like she's willing to take risk and play and play dress up and you know we've had a long history with each other um, I've worked with her I worked with her on her first album and I've done all of her music videos and you know from that from that album from Super Duper Fly and I just had to be able to celebrate her because she truly she deserves to be celebrated like owning her blackness and celebrating like you know, just being a strong woman, you know, who, who's celebrating her body and her confidence. I just thought, this is going to change and make history. Out of everybody, like, Missy is an icon. So to honor her tonight in this way and to be one of the performers, I don't know how to describe how that feels. It's, I'm just honored to be able to do it. <laughs> And just her creativity and, and, and how she shows her music through her, through her visuals, 
you're stuck. Like you're you're automatically drawn in, and that's just the genius about Missy. Like she has the whole package. She can dance, she can produce, she can rap, she can sing, and creatively and visually, she tells a story like nobody in music videos. So it's amazing. You don't know, like, had it not been for her, there would be no Little Mo. Like, Missy Elliott is the reason why, like, I am Little Mo. You know, two decades of friendship, and that's my sis. Like, I was showing up. Even if I had just gave birth, I was going to come out here, staples and all. Nah. <laughs> no. I'm going to tell you the me favorite memory was when she would put me on the spot and say, like, Whitney Houston would be here, so, like, uh, yeah, sing right on the spot. She would put me on the spot, and I, like, literally had to sing right there for... Whitney Houston right there. So that opportunity to work with her on the song, yes, and just like be around everybody. And she will always vouch for me to everybody. I was like dope. And I had the voice that would make the biggest sinner want to get saved. Like that right there resonated always in my life. And she's been in my family. Like all the kids, that's Auntie Missy. I mean, so it is what it is. Um, I think it was really important for me to be here because I'm inspired by Missy. Like being a female artist is, is something that you have to I have to be here I, I couldn't miss it uh, I'm just a, I'm a Miss Elliott fan you know what I'm saying I just I, I, I salute her evolution and all the things that she's contributed to music and to the industry to the culture you know I think it's you know it's it's definitely worth us taking the time out to celebrate her accordingly uh, I think her individuality you know her individuality and diversity and you know just sounds and, and, and visual displays on camera and her concepts is, you know, just unmatched. First of all, who doesn't love Missy? She's somebody who, even for all the props she's gotten, I feel like has been chronically underrated her entire career. She's so dope, she's so innovative, she's so artistic, she's so creative. Like, why not celebrate the genius of Missy Elliott? And my girl Rhapsody is opening too, so you know I got to support my girl. <laughs> she's paved the way for a lot of people, uh, and, and I respect what she's done, her vision, and just being a visionary and a leader in the game. You got to come out and pay homage to it. She had a vision uh, that's way before our time, and she wasn't afraid to put it out. And she lived up to it, and she owned it, and uh, we believed it. Yeah, and so there was a lot of spinoffs from Missy and a, a genius. Her love and support of what we do, and especially what Janet does, and being such a good friend to her over the years, um, to me, she can't be awarded and rewarded enough. So I just felt it was special. Um, first of all, to be honored by Essence is always special, but it just was something that I felt I wanted to be at and support her in every way I can. Her ability to empower other people and inspire other people to me is at an all-time high. Not only because of her social consciousness of her songs and her last tour that she did, but also she's a mother. And I think as a mother she feels even more obligated to make sure that um, you know her son is going to have a, a great empowered life. You know what I mean? So I think she's really interested in really keeping up and really just very, you know, ear to what everything is happening right now and her voice and her presence is so needed right now particularly in our community so I think all of those things kind of play into it and I think it's absolutely wonderful I think the fact that Missy has always been a businesswoman you know she's understood to own her music to own her brand and to really carry that through for decades it's extraordinary. She understood that first, and I'm, you know, I'm so I'm I, I love her music, of course, but I'm also impressed by her ability to be a businesswoman and that example that she sets for all of us. Yeah. Missy, you're one of the most genuine people that I have ever known. Oh, Missy. You bless us with your loving spirit and your smiling heart. So from one friend to another, thank you. Really, thank you.
decades shown me what strong, powerful black women look like, and I appreciate that. And we need to see more of that. I hope y'all all agree to that. I love y'all. Essence, I thank you. Janet, you have, I, Mona, Julie, Sylvia, oh my God, I thank y'all. Everyone over there, I have so many friends to thank, but I'll be going on and on and on. And all the, all the wonderful women that I work with in the industry, y'all know who y'all are. Thank you for believing, me, believing in me as a writer and a producer, which people only label, you know, they don't think that women can do that, and I thank y'all for believing in me. I love y'all so much. B.A. Raisy.